Anna. All right, Corey, if you are a working mom, you have likely felt working mom guilt. I know I'm a new mom and I'm starting to feel it already. Dr. Daniela Schreier is here this morning with some ways to help. I think this is interesting. There are so many different types of guilt that you feel as a working mom. Talk about that. Absolutely, Anna. And thanks for admitting that you want of them. Because, because welcome to the club. Every mm -hmm. mom thinks, oh, I'm the only one, which is not true. Number one, you might get up in the morning and you know you have to go to work, but you don't want to leave your kid at home. Maybe he or she doesn't feel that well, you're feeling so guilty and responsible, you have to leave. That's the normal one. Then um, number two, for example, you know you're a career woman and you really love what you do, but the society would say to you, well, you should put your children first, but you're feeling bad about it. I always wanted to work, right? Then other moms know that they have to go to a job. That's not what they like. That's not what they want to do, but you have to bring home the dollar. Yeah, so we all feel kind of a different guilt across, you know, the board. You just mentioned something really critical, I think, the pressures on financials. Mm -hmm. We're seeing women are now breadwinners large, more than they ever have been before. They're single mothers, and you've got to work in order to provide for your family, and yet you feel like every minute you're spending away from your family, you're not there for them. Mm -hmm. That's a hard thing to reckon with. That's a hard thing to balance. Absolutely, and this is why money matters. It's not all, but a friend told me the other day, you know, it doesn't bring you happiness, but peace of mind, and also takes a little bit away the guilt, because you can kind of make up for time constraints. If you have money, you hire a babysitter, or you can also pay for the expensive ticket that comes with raising kids. So what do you do if you don't have enough money for a babysitter? Maybe you find a good friend or another family who also has have kids and the grievous them. I need a little stress relief. Can you take my kids for dinner just two or three hours? Mm -hmm. And then the next day you send yours over. So we have a little privacy. Or if you're alone, you can just take time for yourself. Find solutions. One important thing, Anna, and you might have that, the tiredness trap. The fatigue. I mm -hmm. have it for sure. Yeah, a mom gets up with the birds and she never gets to bed. That's the problem. It's true. And so you really need your sleep because if you don't get enough, it increases depression. Depression, anxiety, and you can't cope. I end up ca catching up on the weekends. It's like my vacation, you know, the weekend, mm -hmm. just trying to, to sleep in. Th this is the other thing I think. We kind of got to let go of the perfection because you're always at the park, and some other mom's like, Well, I'm putting my kid in Montessori and I'm, and I'm educating them in the side. My kid already speaks Mandarin or knows their ABCs. You're like, Wait a minute, your kid's two. How, how is that possible? There is this idea that you're maybe not doing enough. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's no perfect 10. That comes, in my opinion, from the hunter gatherer mentality mentality many many centuries back a woman always was multitasking while a man is very focused but now ladies the multitasking includes a career and that was not the case many of hundred years back so give up the thought of being perfect because nobody is and please Anna mm -hmm. ask for help it means ask your partners for help not when you're at a point where you can't hold in the stress anymore then right. you don't ask you shout at them but be reasonable and say honey let's sit down let's see what we can do with the child Do you you can have your evening off. I need that too. And then let's also have our dating day. And even if you don't have a partner, I like that suggestion. There's someone in your world who can help, and maybe there's a way you can help them back in exchange for that. You're right. It's important. Dr. Danielle Shire, thank you. That helps a bit. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Still ahead, we're going to look at the top trending stories online. What you're talking about, including a controversial 